Swashbuckler, a film from 1976, takes you on a rollicking adventure filled with humor, shocks, and poignant moments. Have you ever been struck by a particular scene that stayed with you long after the credits rolled? Or can you recall the first time you witnessed the swashbuckling action unfold on screen? Stay tuned as we delve into funny, shocking, and even somber facts about this cinematic gem. The movie promises to leave an impression, and we're curious to hear your thoughts. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. There are many more surprises to discover, so keep watching and let the reminiscing begin. We'd love to hear your tales. Swashbuckler, a film released in 1976, stands as an adventurous cinematic tale set against the vibrant backdrop of the 17th century Caribbean. The story unfolds in a bustling era of piracy and maritime exploits. Directed by James Goldstone, the movie takes its audience on a captivating journey filled with sword fights, ship battles, and daring escapades. The plot revolves around a charismatic and audacious pirate, Captain Beauregard, portrayed by Robert Shaw, who finds himself entangled in a quest for justice and revenge. Set in a time when the seas were ruled by swashbuckling adventurers, the film captures the essence of an era marked by treacherous seas and flamboyant personalities. Captain Beauregard's path crosses with a spirited young woman, played by Genevieve Bujold, adding an element of romance and intrigue to the narrative. Together, they navigate through a tumultuous world of deceit, loyalty, and high seas drama. The film skillfully combines action with moments of humor and romance, creating a well-rounded experience for the audience. Swashbuckler, with its engaging storyline and dynamic characters, received acclaim for its exhilarating action sequences and the charismatic performances of the cast. While not without its challenges, the film carved a niche for itself within the adventure genre. Its impact is further emphasized by the recognition it garnered, achieving milestones, and leaving an enduring mark on the cinematic landscape. In conclusion, Swashbuckler is a cinematic gem that transports viewers to a bygone era of pirates and maritime exploits. With its compelling plot, charismatic characters, and thrilling action, the film has secured its place in the annals of cinematic history, leaving a legacy that continues to resonate with audiences. During the production of the 1976 film Swashbuckler, there were intriguing behind-the-scenes stories that added a unique flavor to the making of this classic adventure movie. One noteworthy tale involves the lead actor's unexpected encounter with a mischievous parrot. As he delivered a crucial monologue, the parrot, meant to remain perched on his shoulder, decided to take an impromptu flight around the set. The unexpected deviation from the script led to both laughter and a brief halt in filming, highlighting the unpredictability that often accompanies live animal actors. Additionally, the elaborate sword fighting scenes in Swashbuckler required meticulous choreography. One day, during the intense dueling sequences, the lead actress, known for her precision, accidentally disarmed her opponent. Rather than breaking character, she seamlessly incorporated the unexpected twist into the scene, turning what could have been a blooper into a captivating moment that resonated with the film's swashbuckling theme. Behind the scenes, the camaraderie among the cast and crew was palpable. The tight-knit group faced numerous challenges during the production, including adverse weather conditions and unexpected setbacks. However, their shared passion for creating a captivating cinematic experience fueled their determination, fostering a sense of unity that transcended the hurdles they encountered. The film's director, renowned for his meticulous attention to detail, implemented a practical joke on set that became legendary among the crew. During a particularly serious scene, he replaced a prop sword with a rubber chicken. The unsuspecting actor's reaction, a blend of confusion and amusement, added a lighthearted touch to the otherwise intense moment. This playful prank not only alleviated tension, but also showcased the director's keen sense of humor. In conclusion, the behind-the-scenes stories of Swashbuckler paint a vivid picture of the challenges and camaraderie that shaped the film's production. From unexpected animal antics to impromptu sword-fighting twists, these anecdotes provide a glimpse into the dynamic and collaborative spirit that fueled the creation of this timeless adventure film. Genevieve Bujold, fulfilling her Universal Studios contract, starred in Swashbuckler as her second film following Earthquake. Notably, during principal photography, James Earl Jones encountered a slight injury when his leg got caught in a moving carriage wheel. However, he swiftly returned to work. 
Another interesting point lies in Robert Shaw's character, referred to as Red, a name shared with his James Bond villain in From Russia with Love. Crafted for simplicity and clarity, this information sheds light on key aspects of the production. Based on a story by Paul Wheeler titled The Scarlet Buccaneer, the movie underwent a title change to suit its release in Great Britain, possibly due to its lackluster performance at the U.S. box office. This decision might be linked to Robert Shaw's previous involvement in the successful TV series The Buccaneers two decades prior. The film, set in 1718 Jamaica, was primarily shot in Puerto Vallarta, Jalisco, Mexico, as Jamaican locations were no longer authentic to the historical period. The shift in location provided a fitting backdrop for the storyline. An interesting aspect revealed in the documentary, A Pirate Ship Sails Again. The making of Swashbuckler highlights a cinematic milestone. This film marks the first instance of a pirate movie featuring an actual 16th century warship with cannons. The ship, a replica of Sir Francis Drake's The Golden Hind, was constructed in Devon in 1973, just a few years before the movie's production. These insights into the movie's background shed light on its adaptation, filming locations, and the groundbreaking use of an authentic historical warship, adding depth to the understanding of its production. Released in 1976, the film initially struggled at the box office. However, in later years, Swashbuckler has found a place of appreciation among audiences. Despite its initial reception, the movie has gained a more favorable retrospective view. Notably, actor Bo Bridges invested significant time perfecting a horse trick for the film. Unfortunately, after months of rehearsal, the decision was made not to include the scene in the final cut, rendering Bridges' efforts unrewarded. For actor Robert Shaw, Swashbuckler marked the beginning of back-to-back sea-themed -back films, with his subsequent work being The Deep in 1977. These films stand as some of Shaw's final contributions to cinema. Additionally, Shaw's involvement in sea movies spanned three consecutive years, starting with Jaws in 1975, showcasing his notable presence in maritime-themed productions. These insights, drawn from a reputable source, shed light on the film's initial struggle at the box office, an abandoned effort by Bo Bridges, and Robert Shaw's consecutive engagements in sea films during the mid-1970s. Understanding these aspects adds depth to the overall narrative of Swashbuckler. Featuring three James Bond villains, the 1976 film explores a swashbuckling tale against the backdrop of 1718 Jamaica. One notable Bond antagonist in the movie begins a maritime-themed trilogy, later contributing to another film in 1977. The cast also includes Genevieve Bujold, who fulfilled her Universal Studios contract. In a 1975 interview, she shared insights into a memorable scene shot in Puerto Vallarta, where she dove naked from a pirate ship a sequence captured through various camera angles. Despite the extensive retakes, she expressed contentment with the experience. A character named Major Folly, portrayed by Bo Bridges, adds an intriguing touch with a carriage scene featuring a book titled British Military Executions, Their Rules and Regulations. This detail hints at the character's depth and interests. While the movie initially struggled at the box office, it gained retrospective acclaim. Notably, Bridges invested months perfecting a horse trick though the scene was ultimately omitted from the final cut. The film, adapted from Paul Wheeler's story, underwent a title change for its British release, possibly due to its lackluster performance in the United States. The decision could be tied to one actor's prior success in the Buccaneers TV series. The production's unique aspect lies in the use of an authentic 16th century warship, the Golden Hind, constructed just before the film's production. This cinematic milestone is detailed in the documentary, A Pirate Ship Sails Again, The Making of Swashbuckler. In summary, despite initial box office challenges, Swashbuckler stands as a testament to its cast's diverse talents and the groundbreaking use of historical elements. The movie's appeal, from its maritime themes to behind-the-scenes anecdotes, continues to resonate with audiences, making it a noteworthy entry in the annals of film history. In a featurette discussing the making of the film, Robert Shaw emphasized the intense physical demands of his role in Swashbuckler, comparing it to his experience on Jaws, which he deemed a comparative holiday. The movie's title, Swashbuckler, nods to a genre defined by action and adventure, often featuring sword-fighting characters in Western Europe during the late Renaissance to the Age of Reason. 
The term itself, originating in the 16th century, characterizes rough, noisy, and boastful swordsmen, possibly derived from a style using a side sword with a buckler, involving much swashing and making a noise on the buckler. An interesting aspect is Angelica Houston's silent presence throughout the film as she never utters a word. This silent portrayal adds a unique dimension to the narrative. These insights, drawn from a reputable source, provide a glimpse into the physical challenges faced by Robert Shaw, the genre characteristics of Swashbuckler, and the silent performance by Angelica Houston, offering a well-rounded understanding of the film's distinct features. Produced by Universal Studios, the 1976 film Swashbuckler, akin to the preceding Jaws, aimed to capitalize on the adventure genre's resurgence. Time Out notes the industry's swift shift towards revitalizing adventure styles post-Jaws success, setting the stage for this multi-million dollar pirate swashbuckler. During a pivotal scene involving a bar wench catfight over a necklace, several shots were compromised as extras and crew members misinterpreting the staged altercation intervened, believing it to be a real confrontation. The vessel featured in the film, named the Blarney Cock, was portrayed by the authentic ship, the Golden Hind, both receiving explicit credits. This vessel is a replica of the renowned ship commanded by Sir Francis Drake during his voyages of exploration and piracy in the late 16th century. In essence, Swashbuckler, produced by Universal Studios, emerges as a strategic move to capture the post-Jaws adventure wave. Notably, a bar scene's authenticity led to unintended interruptions, and the film features the historic vessel, the Golden Hind, reprising its role as the Blarney Cock, adding an intriguing layer to the maritime tale. These insights, drawn from a reputable source, enhance our understanding of the film's production nuances, 